Hello, you precious people of God out there. Look at this baby. This here is a tri-tip steak. Forget about my dirty countertop. Just pretend you don't even see it, okay? Imagine this baby right here being your heart. But not physically, but spiritually. Look, we got some nasty stuff in our heart that we got to get off. Look at that white fat, right? The white fat could represent lying, um, pride, idolatry, and all sorts of nasty stuff, right? Look here. Ugh, yuckiness, right? Look at all that. Oh, that fat, nasty stuff. Oh, we, our heart's like this. Every heart is like this. It's nasty. It's, it's hard, actually, until Jesus begins to work in it. But see, you got to yield yourself to Jesus and let him work in your heart. You got to let him take out this ugly, hard stuff. Don't pretend that you have a pretty, like, heart. You're a good person. No, you're not. None of us are good. None of us are good. We have ugly hearts with ugly things that Jesus has to take out. That's why we need to be in relationship with God. You have to be reconciled to God through Jesus. He died on the cross for your sins. And without Jesus, you don't know God. And if you say you know God, you have a, a God created in your own image. And you don't know the God of the Bible. You need to humble yourself, accept Jesus' love and forgiveness... And then he'll begin to work on your ugly heart. And he'll start cutting out ugly things that are in your heart. And, and you know, and then you start to have a nicer heart. Let's see what the word says about our heart. I did some homework and I marked up some scriptures. So, let's see. Don't, don't click away because there's words from the bible here these words from the bible can open your eyes so you can come out of deception and, and stop thinking you're such a good person none of us are good we got evil evil things in our heart and god wants to work in our heart and he said okay wait this is um mark seven twenty through 23 and he said that which cometh out of the man defileth the man for from where? From within. Out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. Even as a Christian, I've had evil thoughts. You know, and I'm learning to cast them. To, I, I've learned and I'm learning, you know, <laughs> I, um, to cast them down and not meditate on them. Adulteries, you know, to look at a woman with lust, that's adultery. To undress a woman with your eyes, to watch porno, it's adultery. Fornications, murders. Do you know that anybody who hates their brother or sister or anybody is, is a murderer? And it says in the Bible, no murderer had... An eternal life abiding in him. Thefts. Covetousness. Covetousness is like wanting. Wickedness. Deceit. You lie. Do you ever lie? Lasciviousness. An evil eye. Blasphemy. You ever use the name of Jesus in vain? Pride foolishness and all these evil things come from within and defile a man oops you know that one about idolatry that I just showed you how if you look at a woman here's that scripture about that it's a sexual sin this is Matthew 528 but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery with her in his heart. 
That is one ugly heart. <laughs> ugly heart. I know. I, I got to clean my countertop. I know that. That's one ugly heart. Look at this one. This is 1st Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not, not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Don't, you know what, in this part about be not deceived? Oh my goodness. So many people are deceiving themselves with lies from the devil that they play in their head and they f believe these lies that make them feel cozy and good even though they're going against what God says in the Bible. And you are going to have a rude awakening if you're one of those people. On Judgment Day, if you are doing things God tells you not to do and think you're okay with God, you are deceiving yourself. Many are. Many are going to hear, are going to say, Lord, Lord, let us enter the kingdom of God. And he's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators or idolaters, anybody who puts anything above God. Don't put anything above God. Put God first. Okay? And don't worship statues. Um, don't worship Mary. Don't worship um, anything but God. The God of the Bible. Nor idol idolaters. Nor the idolaters. Remember the ones that love to lust after women. Nor effeminate. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor thieves. Nor covetous. Nor drunkards. Nor revilers. Oh, so many Christians. So-called Christians. The ones that are going to hear, Lord, Lord, depart from me. He's going to say, depart from me. <laughs> they want to be evil for evil. Nor revilers. So sad. So many people do that. Nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And and then, but look at this. But the, but I've had I had a Christian friend. I thought she was Christian, but she she had said, but then this. But no, <laughs> you need to fear you. You need to. Okay, let me just read it. And such were some of you. But you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So some people take this part and go, well, you know, I may have those things, but I'm good because of Jesus. That's right. He takes away our sin and he covers us with his blood and he forgives us for our sin. But... In Romans, it says, should we continue to sin? God forbid. We are supposed to turn from sin. You cannot continue in these things and step on the blood of Jesus and watch porno and think you're okay with God. Because you not. you deceiving yourself. You need to turn away from evil. Yeah, Re read this, listen to this scripture. This is 2 Corinthians 7, 1. Having therefore these promises, let it, dearly beloved, let us, what? Cl this is an action on our part. Cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. There's a part to play on our on our side. We can't just be like, okay, Jesus covers me. Cool. I'm good. I can I can still sin. God knows I'm going to sin. He knows, you know. No. No. He expects us to turn from sin, and you can't say that you can't because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Because of the Holy Spirit breaking bondage oh yes you can turn from it but if you're if you're not turning from it 
you're just not choosing the fear of God, man. And the fear of God is a safeguard to help you turn from sin and keep you from going to hell. You don't want to go to hell. You need the fear of God. You need to stop sinning. You need to turn away from your sins. You need to take the word of God seriously. God is not a liar. Okay? You don't want to be one of those people that here depart from me and never knew you you worker of iniquity on judgment day and many will many 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 people are not really christians they say that they are with their mouth but their heart is far from him so there's a really beautiful scripture right here it says it's in psalms 51 10 it says create in me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me so if you'd like to, um, I'm gonna pr I'm gonna pray, and you can at the end say in Jesus' name, Amen. You'll come in agreement with the prayer. Um, if you want to, so I'm gonna pray right now. Lord, I pray that you create first and foremost a, a clean heart and a right spirit within me, Lord. And I pray that you would help the people watching turn from their evil, wicked ways that they've been convicted by you, maybe even through this video of, of their sins, God. I pray that you put the fear of God in their, of you in their heart, Lord. And, and that you would help them turn from their evil ways and that you would reveal anything in my own personal life, God, that you still want to work on me with, God. And help me turn from anything that you convict me of, God. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit that convicts us. Thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit that helps us turn from these things, God. And that you, you transform us. And, and I thank you for that, God. Thank you that we don't have to do it alone, that you're there to help us. But there is a part on our our side to play and we need to fear you <laughs> more than loving our sin help the people watching fear you more than loving their sin god that that leads to death and, and help them um turn from it thank you lord help them fear you more than loving their sin lord and me too god i want more fear of you it's a safeguard in jesus name amen you could just say in jesus name amen then you came in agreement with a prayer. God bless you. Fear God more than you love your sin. Bye-bye.